When my ship calls in Le Havre, France, I head out to explore a city center that's a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Le Havre is a city of monumental proportion, with lots to see here and nearby. It was here in Normandy that some of World War II's fiercest battles took place, and Le Havre serves as the gateway to the historical sites and to the beauty of the region. I could see why the nearby Alabaster Coast inspired such great Impressionist painters as Claude Monet. I later learned that Le Havre is the birthplace of Impressionism. I traveled to the picturesque port of Bonfleur, which also inspired many well-known artists. In many ways, Le Havre and the region surrounding it are works of art in their own right. And today, cruise passengers like me are still trying to capture those indelible portraits of a region so rich in imagery. At the American Cemetery, I walked away with a new appreciation of the sacrifices that young American soldiers and their allied companions made to succeed against such incredible odds. I couldn't help but think that those fallen heroes altered the history of Europe with the D-Day invasions of 1945. In rebuilding La Havre, which was devastated during the war, architect August Perret's efforts were recognized by UNESCO for the innovative utilization of concrete's potential. Though La Havre builds itself as the gateway to Paris, I didn't have to venture two hours away to experience something very much like the Parisian lifestyle. I walked into the beautiful Benedictine Palace at Vicom to learn more about the liqueur known as Benedictine. I also learned about the lives of the monks who lived here. The liqueur was made from 17 herbs and spices, a health elixir, no doubt. At the Malraux Museum in the city center of La Havre, I gazed upon the second largest impressionistic art collection in all of France. I could see how those painters were inspired by the sea and the sky and the texture of La Havre's life. This is Ralph Bizzle reporting from a place that leaves a lasting impression, La Havre, France.